apart from luxury items which I love and adore my other love is fitness I love training I love getting stronger and I love shopping for athleisure clothes <laughs> I just parked at the gym right now and we just got the notification that the governor of California said that the gyms are closing so this will either be my very last workout for a couple weeks or well, at least work out for the gym or I'm gonna walk over there and they're gonna tell me like oh we can't take you so we shall see but I'm gonna hit legs and back since gyms are supposedly closing again um, but yeah let me just tell you my outfit so I have a Nike dry fit cap I have a Nike uh, sports bra and um, this is an Alpha Elite shirt and then I have some of the Whitney Gymshark leggings, super soft, way better than Align's. I really don't understand why they don't like release this fabric on their website but I digress. So I thought maybe I would show you guys what I usually bring to the gym because I don't bring any of my designer bags to the gym because one, I don't want it to get stolen or damaged or I don't want to keep it in my car because you know how like heat with like leather or canvas, it just, it's not a good look. I usually carry this as my purse because I might run errands or something like that. So this is my Lululemon bum bag. I don't know if, if it's called a shoulder bag or something like that, but I can show you what I keep inside with me to the gym. So there's one pocket in the front and then there's the main compartment that holds everything right here And then there's actually a pocket on the side which I love And then I always keep just a backup scrunchie with me to the gym just because you never know like Sometimes when I use like I'm using an elastic today because my hair is in a braid sometimes these break So it's always good to have a backup scrunchie. I keep It's really like nothing. I have my airpods and pepper spray and then I have my wallet and then recently added to the bunch is my key holder that I just recently bought and if you haven't seen the video of me unboxing it I'll like put it up here somewhere so you can click that if you want to see that and then oh and then in the front pocket I have my validation card because I drove into this plaza and then I have five dollars I don't know where this is from oh ten dollars actually <laughs> But money's dirty, so I need to bring this into the ATM. And then obviously, since we're going to the gym, I have, um, I, I keep all my masks like in my car, but I think I'm gonna use the cotton one today. So this one I can rewash. I got this on this like Instagram website. It has like a little teardrop right here and it says mask off, but it's like masculinity off. So, oh wait, I don't know how I'm putting it on. <laughs> Hold on. So then my workout headphones are the Beats Power Pro. Are the Beats Pro? Oh no, the Power Beats Pro. I don't know why I said Power Pro. Um, but I have it in the cream color. I honestly really want to get a pair of AirPod Pros because my friend has it and I tried it and they're great. <laughs> but that's a little expensive right now just because I've been shopping a little too much. And then this is my water bottle for the day. So this is the one that I have for today. It was part of their like limited edition range. And then I don't really like holding it from here. So I got a matching handle. So it like has that gradient. And this is the 40 ounces. So I filled this one up. And then I took my pre and my little shaker bottle. My favorite combination is guava and orange and I mix it together. So delicious. And then, yeah, so that's about it. So we're gonna go to the gym. And then actually maybe I'll film a what's in my gym bag too. Maybe like while I'm coming back from the gym in the car at the very end of my workout, but we'll see. We could reorganize my gym bag together and at the same time I can show you guys what I bring to the gym 
So I usually bring all this stuff around three times a week. If I'm just going there just for arms or to do cardio, I usually just bring my purse. But on a like back leg day, I bring this. So let me just show you first what my gym bag is. So this is a Lorna Jane duffel bag. You can see right here. I'll just give you a quick little overview. So it does have a decently sized front pocket, which I usually put my phone or usually the validation card. There's no zippers on the back and then there's no compartments on the inside. So the only compartment is the front. So it has like your handles for a normal duffel bag and then it has an adjustable shoulder strap. And then what I also actually really like about this bag is that there's loops on the bottom that you can put a yoga mat or I usually like to bring um, what is it the cover for like doing hip thrusts and stuff like that you can put under here too so you can adjust this which is really nice the material is obviously cloth so i feel like i can wash this and put this in the washing machine which is really nice so okay so after the overview with my bag so the first thing i have is this so it's from the brand bend i don't know what this is called but it's basically for people to do squats but i use this for hip thrusts so you can do like barbells or really heavy things so you can put it on obviously your hip bone and it doesn't hurt this one does have velcro on it which is really nice so you can kind of tighten it just a little bit but not so much but i really just like it because of the color i do have another one that I do keep in my car just in case if I'm working out with one of my friends so we can both do workouts at the same time. This one is, I bought this one on Amazon but I never use it but this one is called the Perfect Peach Athletics. So this one doesn't have Velcro, it's just like this but I feel like this one kind of falls off a little bit so I just keep this one in my car just in case. And then I have a bunch of different pouches to kind of organize things. So let me just show you what's in here. So I have these wrist wraps from Mighty Buns I don't really like these wrist wraps. I think aesthetically these wrist wraps are really cute, but for actually doing heavy lifting, because I really like to deadlift, like really like to deadlift, these ones don't give me as much wrist support as I like to. These are kind of like my intro wrist wraps when I just first started deadlifting. I didn't really know what I was buying, what I was doing. So this one is like this, it has like the Velcro strap. So this is the one where you can put it on your thumb like this and you kind of wrap it around. But I think this is good if you're not really going that heavy, but for deadlifting, it's not my favorite, but I bought it so I just keep it in my bag in case if I'm working out with one of my friends, then they can use this one. But my favorite wrist wraps are actually the Rise ones. They're blue, so you put them like this. And then you tighten it right here and then you loop these straps over the barbell and then it just gives you a lot of wrist support when you're lifting like heavier things. So I put that in here. And then the secondary thing is I have these elastic bands. So these are the really thin ones that basically a lot of like intro leg booty day people do. It's like the really thin like rubbery ones. I use this to do hip abductors or if I'm doing goblet squats, I like to double up on these. You can buy like a whole pack where they give you like multiple different types of resistance. So there's like heavy, medium support, light support. I also really like to use these for warming up. So like glute activation when it's just kind of like light resistance. So I put all of this in here. And then the next thing I have is this little, I got this little pouch from Space NK. It was like a free gift reward. This one, I keep my gloves that I used to use. They're from Mighty Buns Athletics. This video isn't sponsored. I just, my Nike ones ripped, which were my all-time favorite ones, and they don't make them anymore. So I tried to find other gloves, but these ones aren't really good for heavy lifters. This is more for people that don't want calluses, and they kind of just do like lightweights, like maybe like five pounds or 10 pounds max. So I don't really use these anymore. And then I have boxing straps. One of my ex-boyfriends was a boxing trainer, so I got into boxing because of him, but then after we broke up, I didn't box anymore. <laughs> so sometimes I use this if I'm going like boxing with my friends, but it mm, doesn't really happen anymore. I keep backup headphones in here, so I have two Bose ones. These are literally the exact same thing, except different colors, but it's the one where it has the wire and it's like this. I actually really do like these. This is if my power beats are dead. I usually just charge everything just cause you never know. I mean, this is excessive. You don't need two sets of earphones. It's, I bought these and what, like I keep them in my gym bag just in case. And then, oh, I also have a lock for a locker. 
And then I have a lip balm, just in case. It's the brand Argelon. So that's in this pouch. I just, because this duffel bag is just so big, it's good to have multiple different pouches. Like everything just has a place to go, which is why I really like it. Oh, and then one more thing. Actually, it fell out. I didn't see it. So I have these ones for Mighty Buns. These are actually really great. I love, love these. These are ankle ankle wraps i don't know what these are called basically it has the cushion right here so when you can do like kickbacks to hit glutes or do some hamstring or inner thigh workouts on the cable machines these are really good oh and then really quick i actually do carry around with me athletic tape for i use this for my wrist but you can use this for your ankle or stuff like that when i first started lifting heavy for deadlifts i hurt my wrist that's why i invested in wrist wraps but this is really good to just kind of add some support and tighten it if your wrist is feeling strained or anything like that so i just like to have this on deck just in case and then the last things i have are all my resistance bands so this one is also from the band bend so this one i would probably say it's about medium support or medium resistance so it looks like this i use this to warm up for deadlifts it's very comfortable because it's like this cloth material so i put this over my shoulder to do warm-ups in and then I have two types of hip circles. One I bought from Amazon and then the other I bought from Grace Fit. So it's basically Grace Beverly again, but this is before she started her brand Bend. This one is about a medium support and this is heavy support. So I use this for glute activation and then I use this during my workout. And then I have another resistance band. I like to use this for also glute activation. This is also really good for pull-ups. You can also do a lot of home workouts with these types of resistance bands, which is really, really nice. So this one, I think it's like 10 to 20 pounds resistance. This is from the brand Rise. And then my last one is this one that I bought from Amazon. So this one is, I, I don't know if the brand is called Let's Fit, but it looks like this. This one is great for pull-ups. Like if you are a beginner to pull-ups, just like I am, even though I lift regularly, I still, I just, I can't do pull-ups. I can do chin-ups, but your girl cannot do any pull-ups. Like it just, it doesn't work doesn't work <laughs> so I like to put this up on a straight bar just kind of like hook it on and then you can do pull-ups with this it's basically assisted pull-ups without using the assisted pull-up machine you know the one where you put your knees on and the weights kind of go up and down I don't really like that one I don't know I just I know a lot of people use it but for me I just I can't really get the hang of it but this really really helps strengthen your back and just strengthen just everything I just really really like this I always 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 do this on back days I like to burn out with these it's just it's really great I highly recommend this one well you don't have to get this particular brand but just anything with like a medium or honestly this resistance is actually pretty heavy I never do any like leg warm-ups with this it's too strong but then yeah so then you put this in and I still have a lot of space in here a lot of times I like to put my wallet in here or my bag let me just show you that it does fit you can totally fit this in here and it was a total coincidence that these matched I actually bought this first and then I bought this and when I came home I realized they matched I'm like wow this is perfect so this is again a Lululemon bum bag and then this is Lorna Jane and then I can fit this in here and then it fits perfectly so yeah so this is my gym bag that i take with me almost every day to the gym and yeah all right guys so my camera is about to overheat because i literally don't have any ac in my car right now but thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions about what i bring to the gym or anything like that feel free to leave it down in the comments and if you guys enjoyed this kind of fitness related content please give this video a thumbs up just so i know that you guys like this stuff if you don't like this stuff don't worry i won't film anymore <laughs> don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Mm-hmm. <laughs>